is camera number one. This is not very fun. Say action. Action. Sure. I'm not gonna go into it on camera. Right. I'm, I'm no problem telling you about it, but wait, that's not something we need to document. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, going, going well. Oh Dennis. no, I mean that's like no, an actual term. Yeah, that, that is an actual, you go to Netflix. You find oh, it is? Movie. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. for uh, five weeks um, and we were, you know, we'd get together sometimes when we had free time and we had been playing music for a little while beforehand, just acoustic guitars and we wanted to come back and like start a band and um, we had been playing a lot of softer stuff like acoustic guitars and maybe like piano or another guitar but Ben recently got into uh, like electronic music uh, he started out on the computer using it um, and then he, he, he got his uh, his workstation, his Yamaha um, synth player, so uh, that's that's kind of like how, the, I guess, the unique sound of it started. So then we thought, um, Alex, you know, we, we played with him a little bit. And we we added Alex because uh, it was originally at Ben and I, but we, we decided in China that we needed Alex. And he could play guitar for us. Uh, we might have wanted him to play bass originally, I don't know what we were thinking. Um, he's a terrific songwriter. Uh, he's, he's amazing. He's, I mean, he has tons and tons of songs. Uh, very, very just like clever. So um, we thought we needed him and that kind of rounded out the sound. So that's how I kind of got started. I mean, we've been, I've been writing songs for a long time and we started out just playing mostly covers and then I would play some of my songs and then Jack played a couple of his songs and um, we've been keep, keeping it pretty even just playing a couple of mine, a couple of his so, but yeah, we're usually just working by ourselves Yeah, like we, we found Alex, um, we play together well um, and then Tyler, I mean, plays the drums so it's like, you know, uh, a lot of drummers just kind of like those like come in and start playing, but you know, as soon as like we start getting our own songs, like Tyler has like his own drum parts for songs now. Well, like after they like worked out, kind of like they started playing songs together and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. I guess they they just asked me to play drums because I've been playing with like Alex and Jack since like eighth grade, like in, in different like projects and stuff like that. 
Um, I've never played with Ben before, before now. But I guess just when they needed a drummer, I was like the first person they thought of. Fuck, yeah, yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck, yeah, yeah. Bitches come and get shot, get shot, get planned, bitch, motherfucker. Parallel horizontal. Uh, the song, it's computer age. I guess I was it by. Oh, it was written by, it was written by Marcus Moore. Perfected by Ginger Butter's Cream. Now, uh, 
I, I can't even call myself his friend, really. Ben is a... Uh... Ben can be combative at times, and so can Tyler is very strong-willed, okay. very strong-willed individual. I wouldn't really use the term D-bag for any other than that. If you look at like life on Earth, in the whole kind of like universal timeline, you know, in like a way, like you know, zoom out way bigger sense of uh, of of time, you know, it's very possible. Could you figure just you know, get a whole species and civilizations that have like, you know, been born and then grown and then died out before we were even around. So I mean, that's I mean, I'm sure that's how it is. Get rid of CDs, have just records and MP3s. Why? Well, I mean, makes sense. Like why, like, why do you need CDs? Why some, sell Because records are like really cool to some records. And then why do you need CDs just have an MP3? Also, like, I like album art, you know? Yeah. What do you buy? Get a shot of this. Coke, Coke bust. Lines in the sand. Lines in the sand. Very yeah. horizontal does not support your cadence. <laughs> What's an example of that? Why So what happened is, it's 5 o'clock, uh, one hour after the bands were supposed to get here. Uh, the first band isn't here, so uh, we may have to go first, which would not be good because then no good. one would be here. Not good at all. told everyone here to get here at 7. And we might have to go on at like 6.30. Do the math, do the math, and we would be finish our set by the time everyone got here. We would have like one song left by the time everyone got here. And it'd be Stretch Canvas. So right now we're waiting. Tyler would mess up the end and it would just really suck. I'm going to tell him Like, just why can't they just, why can't they just open the doors later? Yeah, well, but like, we're all here though. Like, just they, they need to start something. Like, open the doors. They gotta open the doors later. Uh, door, no, doors are probably like a set thing. Like, that's probably like yeah, a we'll just start the show later. Yeah, but then like, like we're standing yeah. around for so long. But we're, we can't go on first like Saturday. Yeah. We gotta go on it. We gotta go on it. Alright, do you want me to talk to him? Wait, wait, wait. We don't have to do it. talking about this and I think Tyler mentioned it with Ben like being like like next year we'll be in like a more of an urban setting with you know older kids that are like there's like a, a fan base to go to like right now it's like 
just friends that like you know are supporting us. Which but like exactly, like, yeah. which is really cool, obviously. But it's, yeah. it's not. That's yeah. what it, me and yeah. Like it's awesome we're to have the support, about. but we're like like Ben was Ben brought up like it just, it'll be nice like in an urban setting like you'll have other indie bands you'll have like you'll be able to make connections and like people will hear you and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to that next year. Like in the suburbs, it's kind of stagnant. Like you know, there's no like place. To, Like, they've treated us. Yeah, yeah, they've actually been really nice. Right now, yeah, like, you know, being a band from, like, where we are, our fans are pretty much just our friends. Like, there's no one really discovering our music and, like, you know, actually, actually, like, respecting us for our music. We actually music have a pretty yet. big demographic of uh, middle-aged Catholics. Uh, my dad <laughs> brought our CD to a Knights of Columbus man. meeting <laughs> and uh, played it <laughs> over the PA while they were setting up. And uh, we got uh, pretty good reviews from yeah, uh, nice middle-aged Catholic men. I mean, so. actually, yeah. Also, like, my uh, my cousin's friend who reviews music at Salisbury University, uh, pinnacle of uh, right, education. right, yeah, which is basically the Harvard of the Eastern Shore in a sense, <laughs> um, said that we are similar to pavement with our slacker style of indie <laughs> feel. So, I mean, I think we should be on the top of the charts <laughs> within like a day. <laughs> We're waiting for those calls every day. Yeah, I mean, like, what record company doesn't want a slacker man? <laughs> First of all, I'd like to note that this is the new orange flavor five hour energy shot. They have berry and uh, lime. Uh, berry, I usually get berry, but orange is interesting. We have 2,000% um, of vitamin B6 as pyridoxine hydrochloride. Uh, we got some vitamin B12, 8,333% 8, as cyanocobalamin. So, you know. Usually, yeah, that's all I need. Me. No hyphen. How many you look up in there? Hyphen. Somehow they took it down. 
Yeah, don't even get me throwing shreds. I don't want then shreds. That's a whole other ball. Are there any sexual fetishes that you'd like to share with your fans? Um, George Bacon. <laughs>